This is Damon Stevens, and today is Monday, June 21st, 2021, and this is a stock market update. I'm actually on the road, so I'm not using my regular equipment, so uh, just use my laptop here and um, uh, the mic that's built in, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I'll try to get something tomorrow, make this a little bit better, uh, but let's get into it. So um, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, Finwealth Live. We can get these updates and uh, our trading ideas as far as what I'm trading and and uh, possibilities for you in the market and what's going on. Uh, if you look at the overall market today, um, the Dow Jones was up 1.76%, uh, the NASDAQ up 0.79, and S&P 500 up 1.40. So uh, quite a bounce from Friday. So uh, we, we uh, fell, fell away a little bit and popped right back up, which we talked about in our video over the weekend. So um, hopefully you're ready for that and hopefully you're able to take advantage of it because it did provide some opportunities. On the uh, the scanner today, we, we had LDL, which uh, was a buyout. So not uh, really a good trade um, unless you caught that and you're lucked out. I mean, it's pretty much uh, a one done, one and done. Um, GBR was another one. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but, um, you know, there was a scalping opportunity there and TRCH, which has been on the radar for a few days here and provided a couple of small trades, um, not been big on mine, but um, we'll take a look at that one as well. But you notice, I, I'm noticing that a lot of the ones today that were on the scanner are the ones that have been on the on the radar for the last week is, or been traded this last week. So it's good to see. Uh, you can see that overall the markets uh, were really strong. Uh, a couple of techs, Amazon, uh, we, we know Amazon was hit an all time, uh, kind of a high, um, we hit a high point of, of uh, resistance and uh, you know, we climbed really fast. So uh, we did have a pullback there, Tesla, trying to make new highs again. We'll talk about that one as well, but it still provided, you know, I said it, you know, depending on what the market um, is uh, doing in the morning, you should at least get a 10 and $20 swing in Tesla, which we did get. So hopefully you got a piece of that and we'll cover that one as well. Uh, so it will cover Bitcoin, gold, silver, uh, we'll cover um, some other areas, just give you some uh, small caps, some some areas at least to hopefully help you um, as you're navigating uh, the rest of this week. So um, GBR, so I talked about that. So um, you can see here, uh, you had a chance to get in a few times. So it came down from four, 480. Um, you know, the first time really to see it hit the radar was around this seven dollars, which it popped down to six sixty one. If you pulled, you got back in uh, as it went over that uh, the first morning uh, low or high, then you got it right up here. So, and if you missed that, you still had a chance here. If you did, you got this pull back here uh, and waited, and it pulled back to, to you know just under eight dollars, and then popped back up to eight sixty two. Um, you got a small ride, nine nineties, where it kind of stopped, um, where it kind of peaked out came back down, um, you could have got out here at least at a break even if you got in late on the trade. Um, but uh, hopefully you kept it small if you're late. I never go full size in on a late, or you can, but you're just gambling. So uh, just always be careful when you're uh, late into those trades, um, even though there's possibly opportunities to get back in. And so you can see that we pulled back here now, just consolidating and settling down. Uh, so uh, the dollar, so the dollar you can see uh, is just kind of flat. Um, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Um, it is still very strong. It's around 92. We've been in the 90s or below 90s for quite some time. It's over, you know, close to moving averages here. So we'll just see if it stays above that 50 or if it breaks back down again uh, and see if that holds. Um, but uh, that could pull the market down a little bit if it remains high, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, the, uh, as far as the VIX, the VIX pulled back down. So that um, was, you know, indicated that the market was gonna, you know, rally back up today, which exactly what it did. Uh, you can see here, we kind of put a couple of scenarios out here um, with uh, the wave um, theory that we have. And so we show the pullback here and that it could possibly go up a little bit higher or it could pull back and start to go into this additional correction. You can see that it did pop up here. Uh, and so um, it it's, it's interesting because it uh, it's above the gap, so filled the gap today, but it's in between support and resistance. So we're gonna have to really kind of keep an eye on this, see if it uh, wants to continue rallying. If it breaks this next level at 422.87, it could be rallying back up towards new highs. Uh, if it breaks back down below 
you know, 419, 417, you know, we're headed back lower and, you know, we could be, back, be into a correctional uh, area, but um, not yet. So just be careful on your trades. Uh, make sure you're using stop losses uh, and make sure you're just careful um, this next little bit. Uh, triple Qs, you can see the triple Qs uh, are at resistance and continue to be just consolidating here, trying to break through, failed. And so um, it's, as long as it uh, stays right there, it'll probably try to break through again. If it stays too long though, it's going to fail and probably pull back to at least the 20 uh, to try to get some energy to go back up. So right now it's very bullish, but we'll see what it does. As far as um, semiconductors, semiconductors, you can see this big long bar here. So uh, in, in after hours, so you can see that um, we had a nice bull bullish momentum here and then a little bit of pullback here. Uh, down to the 20. So we'll see if we can hold that 20. If it breaks the 20, uh, we could get to more in a bullish um, scenario. But for now, it's kind of just um, just kind of right there on that 20. So we'll see what happens. Um, IWM, so the Russell 2000, you can see it had a nice little rally. A lot of the ones that were down Friday had a nice little rally today. Um, but that could be what they call a dead cat bounce, or just you know has a, a, a major reaction uh, to support levels and um, and it could run right back into resistance and pull back again. Um, that's why I just said be careful uh, right now for at least this few next few days. So let me get this out of the way here, so that we can look at this these charts here. All right, so transports, transports you can see they pull down as well and they pop back up here. It's just consolidating here still. Um, so uh, as long as it's above the moving averages, it still could possibly move higher. I'm more likely it's going to move higher, but uh, we'll see. It's uh, not not uh, a lot of volume. So um, gold, gold, you can see the gold pull back. It's below the 50, the 100, and the 200. That's very bearish uh, in momentum. So uh, and it's price action. So we just need to be really careful. Gold's going to pull back here, and it's probably going to stay back until uh, we see see some change in the dollar. Uh, and then also understand kind of where the indexes are going to go. A silver pullback as well. Um, so it's above the 200 moving average though. So that's good, but it is below the 50. And these are all curling down, which means it's going to get more bearish if it stays there too long. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin definitely pulled back. You can see here, it pulled down as low as 30,000 um, earlier, about a week, you know, I was on the 20th. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so. That was earlier um, last month, actually in May it looks like, and then we pulled back again down to 31 on the 24th, pull back again here and then into June. Looks like we've had one, and here's the second one bounce here about the same place. So you know that there's a good support here, um, but this is uh, you know really you know touching base at four times. So if this has any more strength, it could break through that uh, 31,000. Um, level and possibly go down to 30,000 if it breaks that. Now you're going down to, to like this 27 level here. So um, just be real careful if you're in it. Um, I have a very, very small piece that I just left on there, but you know, most of it I cashed out up um, on the higher numbers. So I just wanted to make sure I locked in my profits. Same with Doge. I mean, I was in Doge uh, originally back, you know, um, earlier on, got back in at 27, wrote it up to to um, oh, just around 60, um, sold out at 57, got out of it. I didn't short it. A lot of uh, other traders um, that I worked with shorted it. I didn't short it. I just uh, moved on to other stocks, but um, I'm back ready watching now to see. Right now it looks very weak to me. It looks like it could possibly come down to as low as eight cents uh, or find the support here at 17. So um, I'll pr probably put a, a small piece back on again um, just manage my risk though, to be ready to sell that out if it, uh, if it drops back, cause, but it could bounce here. So just trying to kind of play both sides of it. Uh, so in VAX, I told you this just continues to, to cash out and it just doesn't disappoint like Tesla, you know, nice run here. So if you got in the morning, uh, you can see here you're at 173, you got up to 180. So, you know, about six and a half dollars. Uh, and if you missed that trade, it popped right back down here to 173. And give you a nice ride to 183. So nice ten dollar ride. So um, today was great, great for for Invax. Um, you know, it just continues to perform even if it has a down day or a few down days. You know, it always seems to pop back up and give you a, 
a good ride. So hopefully you're taking advantage of that. And same with Tesla. I told you on, on the, the night video that Tesla is probably going to give us at least a, a $10 trade today uh, or $20 trade. So if you look at it on the open, you're at 627, came clear down to 608. So it just, just almost as shy of, you know, I got 12 bucks and then boom, all the way up to 631. So there's your $20. So it gave you the $10 pretty much and the $20. Um, which I had said in the video last night that uh, Tesla was probably going to give you. Um, so it's great. It's great that it did. You know, like I said, NVAX and Tesla, uh, you know, have been my favorites a lot lately, uh, just because it's giving you good rides every day. So uh, hopefully you've been able to take advantage of that and you're profiting from those, uh, from those, uh, those movements. So really nice. Uh, GBR flat. We talked about that one. Uh, ATAI uh, was one um, that came on the radar uh, the other day last week uh, and then been trading it for a few days. Gave you another trade this morning, opened up, you know, around 960, got it right up to 21. So not like huge, but on the low price stock, you know, you can do a lot with it. Um, this will continue to be on my radar. See, there's good scalping opportunities to it. It's not a long-term hold for me, but a good scalping opportunity. And the other one is TRCH. TRCH, you can see here that on the open, uh, at around eleven dollars, broke down to eight, and then all the way back up to almost twelve. Um, so this one again, low price stock. If you're, you know, into low price stocks, uh, great scalping opportunity to scalp in and grab a piece of this. If you did, hopefully, you know, you grabbed the majority of it and you're profitable. Uh, this again is going to stay on the radar. We have good movement going north. Uh, you can see here that we're above all the moving averages. So uh, there's definitely could be some more room here for this to run. So, uh, and then uh, Amazon, we talked about, you know, it, it had a big run, it's pulling back now. So, um, you know, as far as if you're sh shorted this or whatever, maybe you got a piece of this, uh, but you can see here, basically it came back up to this, almost the same level of resistance we were before. So it's very, you know, common for a stock when it first comes up and it hits that resistance, it's gonna bounce back down again. Now that's a double top here that's forming. So I need to see a little bit more because you could also get, uh, you know, we could get we could get movement back down um, and then have it pop back up again. Or we could, you know, consolidate here a little bit and see if we can get a run. But you see last time we got up here, it pulled back here, you know, and retraced it. And we've not got a lot of retracement here on this one, uh, especially even on this last black breakup candle. So, you know, we've got to watch that, but it's above all the moving averages. So it still has the bullish tone to it. But, you know, once I see, know, a lower low, a lower high, that, uh, that makes me wonder if this is just gonna pull back further because uh, it did not get through to a newer attempt for a high. So uh, it's on the radar. Um, you know, if you're, if you're not a shorter, this might, it might uh, drop off here, but uh, if you are, you know, there could be opportunity on the upside and downside, just be really careful. Watch your price size because you're up at the highs. So I would not go in full position if it was me trading it. Um, not the full position. Um, I would just take a little um, small piece and just see what I can get out of it. But uh, hopefully this gives you some great trading ideas. Uh, I know the quality of the sound's not the, the best probably. Um, and I know this, that uh, the video is probably not the best, but uh, that's what happens when you're traveling, which I'll be traveling all week. But still try to make you videos at night. So I give you some ideas so that you have some uh, trading ideas for every day. But uh, stay safe out there, watch your size, watch the movement market could swing uh, either direction. It's done it uh, in the last two days pretty wildly. So uh, we could get a lot of movement and a lot of volatility right now. So uh, that's your best friend if you're a trader, a short-term trader. Uh, if you're a long-term trader, um, you know, just uh, manage your portfolio. And uh, everybody have a great night and uh, have a safe trading day tomorrow.